I'm not a fan of scary movies in general. I really can't handle them. I don't have the stomach for them. I have to say this movie rocks. It was, <laughs> it was awesome from start to finish. I just absolutely loved it. I have to say. Oh, that's so good to hear. That makes you very happy. <laughs> what drew you in most when you read the script for the first time? What was the big hook for you? There were so many, to be honest. I was in a moment where I was just allowing my, I, I had just watched like my first scary movie in a really long time. I'm not a fan of scary movies in general. I really can't handle them. I don't have the stomach for them. <laughs> um, but I had just watched one that had made me re-examine sort of the art of fear and how to use that as a tool in filmmaking and also in life, really. I think there's, there's something very potent about that feeling and to use that to deliver a message or to use that to artfully sort of take an audience on a journey and also to be able to experience fear in an enclosed environment that is actually safe. You know, these things aren't actually happening to you. It allowed me to sort of examine my anxiety a little bit differently. And um, so when I got the script for No Exit, I originally was like, oh, I really like, I don't think I can do this. And then once I was reading it, I just fell in love with Darby so intensely. I had to, um, I think she's bold and gritty and, um, complex and powerful, yet also very nuanced and vulnerable and has like a quieter power that makes her really interesting. And I, in falling in love with her, I just really, I think for me, it just felt like, oh, I really want to do this part. And even if it's terrifying, the journey she goes on sort of spiritually in a way is, is even, you know, more important than me, you know, have to get over my, my fear of fear. <laughs> So well said though, uh, what was your what was your audition process like? What did you have to do? My initial audition was interesting. I, I think I just prepped the way I usually would. I usually like with a character, I, I'm untrained. So my method methodology and is very scattered, but I try to make a visual medium. Like I have a background in uh, multimedia art and dance and some experimental performance art and some music. So I try to attack it from all angles, like a visual medium, I have like a Darby dance. I have an extensive playlist. And um, I remember sort of bringing together some of those pieces going into the audition. And then really the callback is where it all sort of came together. Cause I found that after that initial audition, I had been still thinking about her consistently for a number of weeks. And I, that doesn't always happen. You know, sometimes you just have to let them go and see what, if it will happen. But this one, I just kept thinking about her and kept metabolizing sort of her internal psyche and what makes her tick. and. The things trying to understand the things I loved about her so much and then in the callback I remember Damien and I just were talking for like maybe I think it was actually maybe even around like two hours and um it was like just like fire like it was we were ablaze in speech about it and just really the passion for the project for both our sides came through and I think it felt like a really powerful collaboration so we have to talk about the ensemble cast it's just a fantastic cast who were you most excited to meet? It's interesting. I was so excited to meet everyone. I We started chatting right away, um, but I was most interested in meeting the actress who plays Jay, who is little Mila, in part because I was like, who in their right mind would let their child play this role? And then <laughs> she has the most amazing parents who acted almost like surrogate parents to me a number of times in, in the process and who were so supportive. And you realize like, yeah, this person can play this role because it's not leaving any residue on them. They're just in flow, loving their craft and sort of, you know, being so alight by the experience of working. And she brought so much light to set and um, really was an inspiration to us all. So I think that was the one that was the most, like, I was just so intrigued to meet her. <laughs> In the movie, they play uh, they play this game bull, which I love to uh, kind of kill some time. Um, I know it's like, you know, a thriller movie, there's a lot going on, but do you, did you as a cast play anything or do anything during your downtime to bond as a cast? 100%, yeah, we did a lot together. I, I feel like I have nothing but like the uh, most genuine deep respect for all of these people. Um, they feel much like family to me. I really feel like if something happened to me, I would like call Dennis and he would hop on a helicopter and, and come rescue me. So I, I have so much care for all of them. And I think that was born out of doing a lot of really fun stuff together. We would hike together. This was filmed in New Zealand. So we were constantly trying to sort of get out and explore um, the whole beautiful world and culture and people there. And then also we did play a lot of both. Honestly, we played a lot of cards. And I think that was so much fun because you got to see everyone's 
personality come out in their competition. And it built a lot of trust and play, which I think is really essential when you're dealing with difficult material the way we were. Who's the most competitive? Secretly, David. Um, on the outside, Dennis. Um, and then also maybe Danny. On the outside, Dennis and Danny feel very competitive, but David's like a secret twist of competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really hope we get to see a lot more from you. I, I thought you were so fantastic in this role. What's what's a dream role for you or like what what's what's on your bucket list? Is there any genre or a specific role that you have your sights set on? I think for me, I'm so I'm genuinely quite new to acting. Um, I never aspired to be an actor growing up. Um, and I also never trained to be an actor. I was street cast for a number of things. So for me, you know, I never had these sort of like goalposts or flags set in the sand of my aspirations. But I think now that I'm within it, I just think every new experience has opened up something that I've learned very much about myself and about the craft. And I'm in like a huge love affair with it right now. So to me, anything like really acting is the oyster, anything goes, I'm, I'm open to whatever it has to throw at me because everything feels like an experience of like, can I? And, um, you know, hopefully I can, like that feels, it feels like a trust fall. Well, you're incredible. So lovely talking to you. Congrats on the film. It really is like, I'm telling everybody about it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. It's like I said, it rocks. So, so nice to talk to you. <laughs>